Hello everyone, it is Jacob here with a new update for my Serena progression <coughs> build. With this one I've started farming profound maps. So finally getting something to actually make some money. Like in farming the setup <coughs> the build does around 25 two. billion DPS. And that is more than enough to clear uh, profound maps like relatively fast and with the right farming strategy can even <coughs> go like really fast. But for the farming strategy I will keep that for next video. So yeah, uh, budget for the build is let's say around 3k FEs for now and I will go over the gear, skills, passives. I've changed a lot since the last update. I mean not the, not a lot but I've changed the... Uh, I've changed the statue of the god. Focusing on skill levels now instead of uh, elements. So yeah let's go over the <coughs> items first. I've crafted like all my gear to tier 1, <coughs> so helmet with energy shield and uh, critical strike rating and critical strike damage on the suffixes and all like as always like on all the other items you want intelligence <coughs> wherever you can get it because if you will need enough intelligence to be able to use this armor I will explain that later so yeah, intelligence, energy shield and critical strike rating with the resistance that you are missing. <coughs> Amulet, I'm still having this like low rolled to intelligence on false god skin. I will have or, or I'm planning to upgrade this to the truth which would give me like plus skills and intelligence as well. So that's the upgrade there for the next like update. Belt, <coughs> intelligence, energy shield, <coughs> and either damage or defense, depending on what you want to choose. Then all resist <coughs> and other resistances as well, what, whatever you are missing. Cap your elemental resistances first and then focus on erosion resistance. Um, order for first ring on the left slot, I'm using this. You want to get one with corrupted with the last mod corrupted for uh, like up to 40% chance to deal double damage while channeling. This with plus two will cost you around 40 FEs. Um, if you would go for plus three, that would open one more candle slot for you. That goes for 200, 300. So yeah, still affordable. Wow like second rare ring would cost you around like let's say 500 400 500 fe's to craft so <clears throat> for relatively cheap like 40 50 fe's you can get really good ring which <laughs> in the end most of the times give me better results than <clears throat> crafted rare ring at least at this stage of the build so like later on, when I get to tier, tier 0 mods, uh, rare ring will probably be better, but in th in this budget, this is really great value for what it gives you. Uh, for weapon, it's the same as in the last videos, the only thing that I rerolled is the Dreamcraft, where I was going for max focus blessings, because I'm using penetrating, and these gloves are also scaling from uh, focus blessings, but those gloves are not necessary. So yeah, focus blessings gives you additional damage basically, that's it. And on the stuff again you want intelligence, skill level, spell damage, elemental damage and cold damage. The cast speed does not really do much, but there is no other good mod. So yeah, that's that. Armor, I'm going with Israfel, which is intelligence stacking armor. And if you have enough intelligence, uh, like I, mine is real, like I need 1029 intelligence and I get some flat base damage to my skills. 
from that and this is then scaled by by all the added damage you get from other sources so yeah this gives you really like a lot of additional damage like you can see plus 100 percent damage just from the armor itself and it is probably even more because i'm missing intelligence when i'm <coughs> not wearing it so yeah so the armor at this stage of the build is the most damage you will get like the the highest damage upgrade you will get is the armor if you get if you get the base one like non-corrupted non uh, third mod those are fairly cheap just try to search one with lower requirement like 1050 and you should be able to buy one for under 200 FEs with good other rolls. I've corrupted that myself <coughs> afterwards, so uncorrupted are still going for fairly cheap. So yeah, definitely get this upgrade first. Uh, the only thing that you need to make sure is that you have enough intelligence. So I have 1063 uh, with this setup, I can go or higher if I slot the ring on and even higher if I go with gloves so if you are missing intelligence to activate the armor then just swap a few things or a few uniques around and make sure that you get to the intelligence breakpoint for the gloves uh, in my current version I'm using Israfel's laws but uh, the damage increase Please select the calibration there is like 20 percent damage increase but you don't need them to be able to clear profound maps so that's just extra damage which lets you clear profound maps faster but definitely it is not a stopper for the build Please which the you couldn't clear the maps without as you can see even without them i'm still going to around 20 build which is like enough for profound maps for profound maps around 10 billion dps like the the last update for 1000 fe's i started farming profound maps with that one it was slow but it was capable of clearing them so yeah and israfels uh, with this corrupt go for around 600 and without this but six percent additional cold damage they're going for around 500 so that's a 500 upgrade here which is similar cost to the red gloves so yeah depending on what you have probably just keep using your tier 2 gloves until you make enough fe's to buy israfel's laws straight away um boots rare ones as much movement speed as possible, plus one cold skills, gear energy shield and either damage or percentage energy shield. I would go with the damage because once you get to around 8.5 or 8 to 9k uh, energy shield, the survivability starts like kicking in and it is already enough to survive so focusing more on the damage is like good for the clear and you will farm faster so yeah damage and resistances that you are missing and for the ring uh, double critical strike like crit strike damage crit strike rating uh, intelligence again max energy shield damage and whatever uh, resistance you are missing and in the uh, dreamcraft you want to <coughs> either get focus blessing or uh, elemental destruction curse if you get elemental destruction curse then you have to swap one candle for to be able to inflict one additional curse or you can then drop your curse setup and uh, take like another damage support basically oh so yeah that's for the gear i have 100% ch chance of inflicting frostbite and that's pretty much it uh, almost 40% critical strike rating 
and resistance as well you can see them here i'm not capped on lightning resistance but that's because like his refers do not provide you any resistances so yeah you need to play around with resistances pretty much for passives i'm still using all the same trees i'm not sure if in the previous version i was stuck in cast speed but I've decided to roll off of cast speed and just take more energy shield and critical strike chances. So let's go through the trees real fast. Critical strikes, chance and damage. All four of the last points. Uh, because this one gives you 8% additional damage. Max focus blessings, that's additional damage as well. Well skill level and intelligence on the large notes chili because that gives you maximum focus blessing and uh, inside that's 30 percent additional spell damage if you feel slow if you are farming like cold region or something and you would be willing to drop 10 percent damage then burning touch is really nice note because that makes you immune to frostbite so you cannot get slowed by uh, the cold watcher cold aoe's but yeah, for more damage inside. <clears throat> the second three elementalist, like focusing on energy shield and critical strike chance and critical strike damage. And right here, important notes. <clears throat> this one is important because it provides you lightning damage, and lightning damage provides you with numbed uh, elemental element, which increases your damage. Like. Every num stack gives you like 4% additional uh, damage on the target and plus one cold skills. Obviously, you will have to take these small notes, but I just told you what it provides you with. So yeah, plus one cold skills. Intelligence to be able to get through the uh, armor uh, requirements. And this is really important note because that lets you generate tenacity and agility blessings by receiving focus blessings so that's more cast speed and additional damage and this one is more survivability because this gives you damage reduction <coughs> don't sleep on this one eight minus eight percent initial elemental damage taken for every type of elemental damage rec recently received recently means in the last four seconds so this can stack like to 24 percent pretty much so yeah a really good note there <coughs> here translucent uh, this one is pretty much always up because we are dealing uh, lightning damage through this note so <coughs> plus 20 percent additional cold damage if you have dealt lightning damage recently so that's always up <coughs> if you would want more tankiness and would be willing to drop the additional cold damage like 20 percent you can get this and get way more tankier but that's for you to try if you are on the high level of damage already like you have better gear like tier 0 items and such definitely would be worth trying to trying this one out because that would make you really tanky and you might even level up easier if you are dying a lot in your maps and the second large passive if you have enough channeled stacks like you need to be on five stacks all the time when you are channeling so if you have enough you don't need to use quick ritual if you are not on five if you are on four then just swap in quick ritual and that's your quick solution for not having enough uh, channeling stacks but for me uh, the choice of large passives because i'm already on five is either penetrating or, pe or peculiar wipe i have one on passives and one of my pedigree of god so i'm rocking both so yeah this one is plus four percent additional damage for every focus blessings i have nine if you have only six then peculiar wipe will be better if you don't have both if you are on 7 then penetrating starts to get better value so 
yeah and in the warlock tree indifference for, for plus to all skills and off the beaten track to be able to uh, run all my auras pretty much and in the passives i've dropped all the cast speed here just to get more energy shield and more energy shield recharge and regain also critical strike damage here and important notes the first one is this one energy shield charge cannot be interrupted by damage for one second after it starts like i have a few mods with like energy shield uh, charge uh, start like the the one that reduces the time that it takes for the energy shield charge to start so this one gives you one second of uninterruptible energy shield charge i have a whole video about this mechanic and other survivability mechanics so you can check that out <coughs> last note here plus one all skills and this one gives you 20 percent damage for every type of element the enemy has um for me, with this setup, I'm inflicting Frostbite and Numbed, so that's 2, so that's plus 40% damage for one node here, pretty much. So, yeah. For the statue of the god, <coughs> I've converted, or I've tried to convert most of it from uh, dirty tricks that I used before to plus skills, so instead of dirty tricks i'm using peculiar revive which is the second node from elementalist this one so that's peculiar revive with what something useful that you can find which that would cost you around 20 fe's let's say and on the rest important uh, uh, notes that you want on the rest is plus 15 percent intelligence plus 6 max energy shield per 5 intelligence and 40% additional beam length you just really want to get these three because plus 15% intelligence lets you get to the armor breakpoint plus 6 energy shield per 5 intelligence gives you a lot a lot of energy shield like we can check it here i have 9.8k if i unequip it I have 7k, so that's like almost 3k energy shield lost, just from one mod, so you definitely want to get that one. Other, mod that, other mods that would help you with survivability would be like the ones that convert physical to elemental damage taken, and, redu and the reduced elemental damage taken pretty much. But yeah, definitely get plus 6 max energy shield per 5 intelligence and try to get that with something useful like plus focus blessings plus cold skill level plus spell level plus intelligence crit rating and crit damage also helps because we don't have that many sources of those so yeah and on the rest um this one is also nice to have, immediately starts energy shield charge upon entering the low energy shield status that means if my energy shield for some reason drops under 30% it starts charging and because of the note in warlock tree it is it starts charging for one second and just keeps charging for one second so that's one second shield charge every time i like lose a lot of energy shield for some reason so yeah that's helpful not necessary but helpful plus one cold skill here plus one cold skill here plus one cold skill here so get plus cold skills where, wherever you can because those will boost not only your uh, beam but also your auras and your curse so plus cold skills is the most important and then plus spell skills or passive skills spell skills would probably be better because those would give you like additional damage to the beam as well so yeah uh, plus cold skills, uh, Fallen Star Lights go for around 100 FEs. Um, this one was like 50. Um, 
try to get one with the gold skill on the bottom those go for higher prices because you can combine them with other uh, slates that i will be using in the future so yeah and for this one i would like to get the additional beam and plus gold skill but those go for around 900 so out of my budget at this point and for this one it would be the same i would want 15 percent intelligence and plus gold skill but yeah that's also around 1k so out of my budget for now but basically i would want to get plus gold skills everywhere um and for skills icebound beam and since i'm using the ring with plus two minimum channel stacks i don't need to use channel preparation Mm, but if you are not using the ring that you need to use channel preparation and if you use channel preparation and somehow get it to 30 level it will give you plus three initial channel stacks so it would let you drop one more candle for example so don't underestimate channel preparation because that one scales really well once you get it to 30 that's like one more free channel slot basically but with my ring it lets me use control spell which gives me more damage what i'd like to try uh, what i'd like to try is the uh, beam support that is called uh this i believe which would give the target like five percent or four point six percent debuff but those go, those go for around 500 FEs with high roll, so yeah, uh, just have to save up for it. And it would probably give me more damage than the control spell that I'm using now. So that's possible swap there. And multiple projectiles and greater multiple projectiles. Like once you get high enough damage, I'm not at the point yet, but once you get high enough damage, uh, hit damage is capped or 500 billion per hit so you simply want to hit as many times as possible and that's what additional projectiles provide you with and then guard additional damage and also generates barrier for free which is like another defensive layer which helps you survive and at this point of the build we'll get in the icebound beam ring blade will also is also like uh, in the budget pretty much goes for like how much now 300 FEs so yeah try to get that one because that one can shotgun on larger targets so yeah try to get that one but if you don't have that one just feel free to use icebound beam chilling spike just to help you clear things faster Pretty much. So that's for the icebound beam. For movement skill, I'm using frigid transmission, and uh, just get a bit of cooldown. Get another charge. Scratch, which lets me paralyze targets. Paralyze targets take 15% additional damage. So yeah, that's on demand like damage, and you can keep it up pretty much indefinitely because you have free charges and the proc chance is like 20% or something so as you can see it is up fairly often on single targets so grudge here uh, for the curse biting cult preparation terrain of malice and increased area just to make the circle bigger around you uh, Secret Origin Unleash, Unleash provides you with additional spell damage per Focus Blessing. So with 9 Focus Blessings, it's just... Yeah. And you can keep it up indefinitely with this exact setup. Like 7 seconds on here. As high additional duration as possible. And low reduction on the last slot. And this will never fall. Uh, the 7 second 
Activation medium preparation will be pretty cheap. Duration does not cost m much as well, so yeah, this is really cheap setup to be and lets you like keep this up definitely. Uh, for the last like uh, empower skill, I'm using blurry steps just to be able to move faster through the maps. But if you are beginning and you lack damage, then definitely feel feel free to use mana boil with this setup this um like this preparation well for battle mass effect and mana ball which that will like increase your damage because mana ball provides you with additional damage please select the calibration intensity for invincibility number two let's wait now all the skills are popped And the damage should go to around 30 bill. Or 25, 30. So that gives you more damage. Will make you slower in maps, but if that is what you need to be able to clear the maps in a reasonable pace, then definitely use that. Uh, for me, it is bloody steps. I just want to go through the maps faster and with my strategy this helps me clear more actually as well. Uh, for auras and passive skills, the first one would be frigid domain, restraint, aura amplification, increased area because that's an aura that is affecting monsters. And also the last support here would be precise selfless, additional aura effect received from the supported skill. But this aura does not affect you, so you are not receiving anything from it. So this mod is like does nothing for frigid domain, but it gives it, it gives it 33% aura effect. So basically, what the aura does: 40% additional cold damage taken for wood, for whoever is affected by it. So this is this gets scaled by 33% to here 34 once I level it up so yeah you get the idea really cheap upgrade so just try to get enough energy and slot it in uh, for me to be able to slot it in I dropped one link from blurry steps just put it to uh, frigid domain the second aura would be <coughs> element lamp or ramp restraint seal conversion this setup lets you uh, uh, reserve it on life and it pretty much reserves your entire life pool as you can see here it is reserving like 96 percent of my life so yeah that's how you get it there third aura precise projectiles or ramp and restraint and for my last uh, passive skill I for clear I use precise imbue precise ice imbue in the previous version you could see me using imbue enhancement which increases the damage uh, the explode damage that the imbue uh, does but with the precise selfless on frigid domain I don't have enough mana reservation or sealed mana uh, efficiency to be able to use that so I'm using freeze chance instead which also increases the cold damage but not as much but it it still pops 500 billion hits anyway so yeah it does not really matter much what this does is it uh, provides the skill with 5% reduced mana cost multiplier because all the mana cost multipliers are fixed to 95% through warlock uh, passive of the beaten track so yeah that's why I use it here and increased area to increase its coverage uh, for candles I use two candles with minimal channel minimum channel stacks uh, but plan for the future would be plus one curse with co in combination with uh, the elemental Destruction curse on ring and then whatever I can get on the other candle. 
So, yeah. Pretty much it for the build. I will show you how it clears maps. And I will show it in the weaker setup. Like without the gloves. Just to show you that it is capable of clearing it. Even with the lower damage. As you can see, monsters, monsters die, so that's what you are going for, right? And now I got the lightning from my nightmare, and that's what takes care of the map, pretty much. So this is really nice example of my farming strategy, like combining nightmare with god of war or statue of war and in combination with bloody steps it just lets you pretty much clear the entire map with whatever damage you have like 10, 10 billion damage and i started doing this pretty much then you spend uh, more time with lower damage you just spend more time on the boss but yeah, if that is what it takes for it, you to be able to farm profound instead of time mark 8, definitely go for it. And enjoy this moment. Definitely the worth it. Let's try another map. Maybe no. Where maybe I'll not get that lucky and get lightning at the start of the map. And when you don't have the lightning, uh, your explode from uh, the ice imbue pretty much takes care of the clear. So if you like encounter a rare that you cannot kill, try to lure it into monsters. So the monsters explode it when they die. You can see here. Like all the rares there just explode it from the monsters around them but yeah as you can see the damage is still enough all the 500 billion hits that you see are from the explodes so this is clear without lightning not taking this lightning and this one is judge if I'm not mistaken, or some rare from the mechanic, so as you can see, I just lure it into monsters and then explode it. And that's how you take care of difficult rares or bosses. Pretty much. Enjoy this moment. The champion deserves the honor. So yeah, and now one run with the Israfel gloves. You should have woken up from this dream a long time ago. Also, if you are on the lower end of the damage spectrum, just feel free to swap to your damage packed spirits whenever you get to the boss. Okay, this is with Israfel's gloves. It's like 30% more damage. <coughs> and yeah, this but since all the clear is taken care of by the explosions, uh, you almost not re not recognize the difference. Sink beneath the tide. So yeah, that's it for the upgrade for uh, Profound maps build. <coughs> Definitely the build still has a lot of uh, possible upgrades to get. Like all the future upgrades are at this stage of the build. All the future upgrades are thousands of FEs because we will want to start crafting like priceless gear, which. <coughs> Just the basis cost thousands and then you have to craft tier 0 mods which cost more Listen than carefully. the tier 1 mods this to craft. So yeah. So this is probably the last update for quite some time. 
time ago. But I hope that I will be able to make it to deep space as well. So, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.